Glistening, Glittering, and Glum is actually a program that's about creative writing and how we apply creative writing to our marketing, our personal marketing, our listing marketing, and our storytelling. And I can tell you that storytelling is uh, uh, one of the most effective ways to connect with each other and with our clients, and nothing proves the point better than some of you who came up before the program and simply to told me the stories you remembered from some time we were uh, together in the past. So storytelling is memorable, easy to do, and for those of you who aren't sure if you're creative writers, I'm gonna help you prove it to yourself that indeed you are. It's also important for us to think about using words a little better because in the last 15 years or 20 years in real estate, we've been spending a lot of time and energy on technology. And technology is a fabulous tool. It allows us to reach more people. It allows us to get our message further. But it also has to be real. Because sometimes when we're only bound by systems and tools in our marketing and we don't spend some time thinking about the contents as much as the distribution, the technology becomes a little stale. And there's always been great technology. For example, in my opening photo here, you can see they had tablet computing many, many years ago. <laughs> I am a little worried, however, that we could get a little stale so I want to give you an opportunity to use the other side of your brain for just a little while. I also want to give you an hour without looking at your smartphone. So what can we do to stand out in today's digital marketing noise? As we have expanded the tools that are available to us, we also have expanded the content and the uh, quantity of information that is flying at us from every direction. And we need to start thinking of ways to get our content to stand out. In the good old days, just writing an ad or putting it in a public space used to work really well. But if you've ever been in an airport or train station or a mall or even the hallways here at the convention center, you know that very few people are actually looking up and looking around. And if they're not seeing each other, they might not be seeing our marketing either. So what can we do to get people to look up? In fact, this is a real photo that I took in Venice not too long ago, where the gondolier was actually checking his text while inadvertently pushing his clients out to sea. So how are we going to get him to look up? How do we get our customers and clients, our sphere of influence, friends and family, to look up from whatever's going on on their smartphone? And I think what we can do is use some analog technology to make digital technology even better. We can use words to make everything we do electronically more real. And words still are at the center of our communications. Even in a world of Instagram and video, words matter. Because behind every good photo are words. Behind every good video is a script, which is words. Behind every good self-promotion and listing promotion is the story of the value proposition that we want to tell. Words precede all of the other great forms of marketing we have today. It's also important because we, as sales professionals, must move beyond selfie marketing. This is, <laughs> thank you. Um, this is actually a real photo that I took uh, in Shanghai when we were teaching there. And there is a bit of an irony of me taking photos of people taking photos of themselves. So let's move beyond that, beyond just the cutout of ourselves to our real selves. Well, this is actually happening to us in real estate as well. It's the slow, steady commoditization of the real estate agent. And I worry because people can go online now and just like looking for listings, they can quickly look for a sales professional as well. So how do you stand out? If I were to search for real estate agents in your town and a list appeared on any of the great websites online and I put my finger over the picture, how would your description stand out? What beyond the ordinary can we tap into to be compelling and get people to desire us? Um, the question I have for you, though, is consider the words you just used to talk about someone else, someone you greatly valued, someone important to you, someone that you would turn to in good times or bad that would be able to help you, and ask yourself if those are the kinds of words you're using to tell your story. We promote ourselves and we turn ourselves into sort of cardboard cutouts. I've been in real estate for 19 years. I have the ABR, the CBR, the LSD, and the EKG. 
Oh, and of course, I like people. <laughs> and when we talk about ourselves only as statistics and data and facts and figures, we open ourselves up to being commoditized. Someone else can have more years in the business, more certifications. And I assure you, all of you who've ever been referred, no one has ever referred you by saying, you must work with her, she has a smartphone. Oh. What makes you compelling as you is what they remember the most. So I'm not saying not to talk about your experience and your skills, your tools and your technique. I'm just saying don't forget the rest of it.